So here we're looking at our Abies amabilis. Typical of our true firs are our Abies. We have linear leaves. Now there are a few ways to distinguish your Abies from one another. So a couple of other species that we have in this general vicinity here at 5,100 feet in elevation are the Abies procera, which is the noble fir, and our Abies, we could potentially have some Abies lassia carpa, <clears throat> which is the subalpine fir, or Abies grandis, which is grand fir. So the first thing that I usually look for is, are the, <clears throat> are the needles two-ranked or three-ranked? And two-ranked means that you would have a needle coming off of either side of the midrib, and the midrib would be exposed. In this case, the midrib is actually covered by that third rank. So we have the third rank leaning forward like a fully committed ski jumper that's really going for the jump. So these top needles lean forward. They are dark, glossy green above. There's absolutely no stomatal bloom on that upper surface. They do have a groove on the upper surface and a little bit of a notch in that rounded apex. The underside of our Abies amabilis, or Pacific Silver Fir, has two bands of stomatal bloom and these needles are almost perpendicular in the way that they attach to the stem. So unlike the Abies procera, which has more of a hockey stick bend or curve to it, the common name of Pacific Silver Fir comes from the fact that those ski jumper needles, the ones that are leaning forward, are revealing that stomato bloom on the underside, and that gives the tree its silver appearance from a distance. So this is a beautiful example of your Abies amabilis, dark glossy green above, two bands of stomato bloom on the underside, leaves attaching almost perpendicular without the hockey stick curve to them. So the cones are about three and a half inches to six inches in length, purple brown in color, and with sort of a cylindrical or barrel shaped appearance. And they sit up a lot like owls on the stem. So the bark is smooth and kind of gray, grayish green, silvery with resin blisters on your young trees. As your tree ages, it will develop more of a mottled ashy gray to almost chalky white appearance. 